Hey guys, welcome to my brand new channel, Blue Mondays. We're gonna have loads of Blu-ray hunts, unboxing, reviews, and much more. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, and let me let me know down below what videos you want to see. Enjoy. Right then, first off of the day, we're at Poundland, and a nice slipcover with the Ghostbusters 3D. Only problem is, it's an awful film. Um, there wasn't that much else on the shelf that stood out. Oh look, the really rare Bad Mums. But look out there, haven't seen that in here before. Um, Gravity of a nice slip. Nothing else that's new. Or oh, Spring Breakers, I haven't actually seen that one before in here. But apart from that, all tiles you've all seen in every Poundland. But lots of boxes though. In the first box, this is the end. Nice slip, brand new. Again, generic titles, but nice guys, great film. This can't really be a new delivery because these are all titles that we've all seen before, but there was a few more boxes. Hercules were a really nice slip. I think that's a brand new one. Transformers Age of Extinction after the 3D one of that. Resident Evil with a new slip as well. Pretty nice. On to CX now. They had Blade Runner 2049 and a really nice still book. Near enough new that one. Um, another Baby Driver still book. Not bad price, about £15. Um, nice cover. They had a few other really nice still books as well. Batman Returns from a brilliant trilogy. Nice still book for a tenner. And um, they also had Fighting My Family, new release from a few weeks ago, £8. Not, that's a decent price, really. And a really, really nice Mint Shores still book, £28, quite pricey. Don't think I'll be picking that one up. Uh, Logan as well, £15, not a bad price. And Kingsman, 4K, Golden Circle still, but already got that one though. Now off to HMV, they still had um, a few of the Shazam 4K still books, really nice. And the normal, ordinary 4K release in the 2 for 30, which is pretty, pretty damn good. Um, don't Look Now, they had um, that, I think that was last week's maybe. Uh, Pet Cemetery in 4K, 1999. I haven't seen that one yet. I've seen the original, not the remake. Now onto the normal Blu ray Shazam in the 2 for 20. Great deal, so that only came out last week. And Hellboy, the new release for today, 14 99 Really, really shiny slipcover, but not something I'm that keen on picking up today. I haven't heard great things about it. Um, I haven't seen this one before, I haven't heard much about that. But Red Joanne, this also came out today, um, 14 99 as well. But in the 2 for 25 already. Um, maybe put that up further down the line. Um, still Captain Marvel and now onto the bargain bin. Uh, got one of the and more of these Star Trek still books, $7.99. Don't, then they're struggling to flog them. Haven't heard of this Jawbone, $2.99, not a bad price. Uh, like a boxing film. Uh, J Jurassic Park 3D trilogy, £15, not bad. Oh, Captain Marvel, yeah, if only that was actually reduced. <laughs> Three ninety nine per election year. I did actually have it with a slip here though. Um, this was a Age of Extinction 3D, really nice sensitive clear. I was tempted to pick it up, but I'm still like, going to hold out for the still work. Um, haven't seen this box set before. Not bad for seven ninety nine. Godfather. And yeah, here's the two. For all the moves on the two for twenty. Cold Pursuit and Shazam. And the two for thirty got Glass, Lego Movie, Shazam, Creed two. Some really great choices if you're after a few. Uh, 4K movies. I really do like that Shazam cover, but I think it could have been a bit better with all the shots from the films. Then you've got this really nice VHS collection um, Back to the Future, Beverly Hills, uh, Top Gun, and two for £15. It's a steal, really. May pick up some of them on a future date. And 3D Blu ray section Captain Marvel, Coco. Um, 11 99 not too bad a price, oh, one of the best movies ever, uh, Incredibles 2, that red slit works perfect with that art, um, Pacific Rim Uprising, Shazam in 3D, if only we got that lenticular like yeah, they did in America, beautiful cover, Skyscraper, I've seen that for 3 dollars in the bargain bin, won't be picking that up, S Solo, and the 3D Pixars don't like these as much as the normal red sleeves. I'm not sure why they changed them. 
I hope you're enjoying the video so far, so now let's get on to the pickups that everyone wants to see. So we'll start off. 51st Dates, picked this up in CEX, um, £3, a little pricey for what the film is, but it's one for the Adam Sandler collection, um, decent comedy, seen it before, um, nothing special, but yeah, just an A to Z Sandler title. Um, next, another pickup from CEX, you've got the Big Bang Theory, um, now I'm a big, big fan of this show, um, bit gutted that it's ended, but I have already got um, two more of these ones, so... This one will match up really nice with the full slips. Um, so yeah, good pickup, £1.50. I've seen it for much more going on eBay, so £1.50, please, for that price. Add to the collection. <laughs> now, another one from CX, got a little bit of drum with this one. Um, picked up Tangled, uh, 3D Disney Red Slip. Everyone knows about these, really nice. Um, got a few more of them on my shelf, so trying to build out the collection. They match really nice with the spines. Um, but, so paid £5 for that one. Opened it up the next day, for lovely. It's a free disc edition with the Blu-ray 3D, the Blu-ray and the digital copy. I thought, wow, nice. <laughs> Little was I to know that it had the digital copy, the Blu-ray, and no 3D Blu-ray. CX, fancy selling a 3D title with no 3D disc. Um, this CX store I went to is not the closest to me, so it's going to be a bit of a pain uh, to go back. Don't think I'm going to, don't think I'm going to be able to. So I've emailed them, and we'll we'll see what happens. But yeah, CX just doing what they do best. <laughs> um, next, I went to Cash Converters. Don't know if any of you guys have got one of these stores, but they had a good selection of Blu-rays. Not too many that like. Uh, stood out to me, very very standard generic titles that some have already got, but this one, going in style, £1.49 for a brand new Blu-ray, to be honest I've never heard of it, um, but I read the back, Morgan Freeman, it sounds alright, so I'll give it a try, why not, good condition slip cover, uh, one for the collection. Um, next I went to Sue Ryder Charity Shop, um, I've got this title before, I've already got, I already own it, but not Stillbook. I've seen Stillbook a few times, but always in bad condition. This is Tom Hanks, Captain Phillips. Now this is a brilliant film. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you gotta go watch it. Um, but this Stillbook is absolute mint condition. Uh, it's pristine, and I only paid three pounds, so a bit of a bargain really. Um, it also comes with digital code, so if anyone wants to go check it out, don't know if this has been used or not, but. Be my guest, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there we are. So yeah, quite a good pickup for three pounds, really. Not good compared to this one. And then the main pickup of the day was Tomb Raider, uh, 3D Steelbook, only eight pounds. Now, I didn't pick up this on release, um, not too sure why, but for eight pounds, for this is this is pristine. This is, a, what, again, two great condition used Steelbooks. Eight pounds of bargain, really. Um, it's kind of boring artwork though on the discs. The blue is the normal, and the black is the three D. Um, some nice interior artwork on the still book. And again, I've got another digital code for you guys, Tomb Raider. So if anyone else wants to give that a try, let me know if you managed to get it to work for you. Um, enjoy. Um, yeah, so that's all the pickups from the t t from today. Um, didn't pick up anything in HMV, none of the new titles really appealed to me, um, Hellboy, it's not something that I'm really into, maybe pick it up further down the line when it drops in price, but I'm not too bothered about paying full retail price for that. Um, a poor, pretty poor selection of 3D titles in HMV, bit disappointed, um, only that really small shelf that I showed you, um, but nothing else out really that was worth picking up for me, but, um, That'll be it all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Let me know what you thought. Drop me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.